What's your comment on the underground Christian church in mainland China? In China, there are over 100 million Christians. The real Christians who devote themselves to God, they don't go to the state-sanctioned church that has been controlled and infiltrated by the CCP members. They go to the house churches, and that's why they're called the underground churches. And they are the target of the CCP's religious persecution. People have been imprisoned and tortured, and a lot of the Chinese people people coming to this country for asylum because they have been persecuted for their religious belief in China. In China, there's no religious freedom. And a lot of people say, oh, I've been to Shanghai or Beijing. I see big churches. How can you say people in China don't have religious freedom? Well, let me tell you, big churches are open to the public. They are controlled by the CCP. The top leadership, the president and pastors, they are CCP members. So they are the wolves in the sheep skin. So that's why the real Christian people, they're being brutally persecuted, but they don't give up. So in our movement, the new federal state of China, we have many, many members of the underground church members, and they're fighting for their freedom every day. Mao School, on June 4th, when we were celebrating the third anniversary of the new federal state of China, he actually wrote a letter from the Metropolitan Detention Complex in Brooklyn, because he was looking at the Statue of Liberty across the Hudson River every day from his cell window. And and he was talking to himself. He says, I will bring the Statue of Liberty back to China so the people in China will also enjoy the religious freedom, the freedom of speech, the freedom of press, the freedom of assembly, and all the freedoms that the American people have tend to take it for granted.